I don't think you judge your life as you get older by reference to your career. I think you judge it by reference to more intimate and personal things. Michael Kirby is a former justice of the High Court of Australia. He's worked with the United Nations, is an honorary professor at 12 universities and was awarded the Australian Human Rights Medal. He was also a student once. I lived with my parents uh, and my siblings, two brothers and a sister, and we were a very happy family. I uh, was very good at school. Uh, in fact, uh, I went to Fort Street High School, which is the oldest uh, continuous uh, public school in Australia. I did well at school and um, I, my ambitions uh, were ultimately settled on a legal profession. I came top of the state in history and did very well and had a maximum pass. I was very proud of myself, but behind that pride was the deep, dark secret that kept everything in proportion. You remain totally silent about your sexual orientation. You pretend to be straight and we'll leave you alone. That was the deal. And I, like virtually everybody else at the time, I went along with that. And it had one little advantage, and that was that I didn't spend my time like my brothers did at discos and other such activities, my sister too, but I spent my time at university um, uh, politics and uh, committees and became a very good chairman of meetings. If I have a resentment, it is that I didn't have much fun when I was young. And I think that was an aspect of my sexuality. You were just expected to sublimate it and, uh, and I would tell the young person and they would look up at that moment because they'd be interested in this, try to have a lot of fun because you're only young once. What are you most proud of? To be a Justice of the High Court of Australia, which is uh, the highest court in the nation. It's a wonderful thing if you're a lawyer to have the chance to sit in the ultimate court and constitutional court of the nation. I'm certainly proud of my long-term relationship with my partner, Jan. You can be successful in the world and not have a loving partner of 50 years, uh, and then what have you got? But if I look back on, uh, on my present self, the thing I, one of the things I've most regretted is I didn't say to my parents enough um, how much I loved them. When you're young and your parents are alive, you can pick up the phone and just talk to them. But uh, there is a tendency in the Anglo-Saxon mind not to mention that L word. I wish I had done that more often. I wish I could ring my mother or my father. Uh, I wish I could speak to my teachers and tell them how grateful I am for what they did for me. But um, we've got to seize the moment and seize the day and make the most of every precious hour. And I would try to tell them that, but they would go on tapping away at their phone. And <laughs>